if we look at some applications of integration, they, classical case is the area. So if we're looking at an area function, remember when we start to find the area using integration, we really like to do a graph of it just to make sure we can see if it's above or below the x-axis. This one's not too bad because we've got a one on x plus ones and x is a uh, it's going to have an asymptote at minus one. It's going to be a hyperbola type curve. So between one and three, we can see that it's all going to be above the x-axis. So we no problems with absolute values. We're just going to integrate from one to three of one on x plus one, which is not really too hard once we've went to make sure we've got the correct values. Integrate. It's a log function of x plus one. Substitute 3 in, substitute 1 in. Gives us the four natural log of 4 and natural log of 2, which you can do the, the, the uh, division there. And gives us natural log of 2. And try to remember to put the unit squared because it is an area question. In question 5, again, we've got x on x squared plus 1. A little bit harder with our graph here. But this is what our graph looks like. And we're going between 2 and 4. So again, it's all above the x-axis, so there's no worries with the absolute values. We, again, we, because it's x on x squared plus 1, we've got to do a little bit of manipulation. So 2x on the x squared plus 1, and because we multiply by 2, we divide by 2 as well to keep it balanced. We can integrate now and becomes the log of x squared plus 1. Between 4 and 2, do our substitution. We can't simplify it much more. Though. If you want to write it as natural log of 17 over 5, that's fine as well but we can leave it like that, it's not a problem. Question six, this time it's a volume question. So we've got to remember our volume formula. No worries about the, the um, positive or negative because it's going to work out positive. We can do a, a graph just to make sure, <coughs> but it should be okay. We're going six to 11, and that area is rotating around the x-axis there. So we want to use pi y squared, and y is 1 on x square root of x minus 2. Now this function looks really nasty to start off with, but once we get the square root being cancelled out because we've got to square it, it's not too bad because it's 1 on x minus 2, which is just natural log of x minus 2 when we integrate. Remember your pi is just stay, it keeps it out the front. Between 6 and 11, substitute 11 in, substitute 6 in. And we get our answer there. Again, you can write it as pi times natural log of 9 on 4. Try to remember units cubed because it's a volume.